I think this is the most interesting, complete arc because of this show, right? Which is the one thing Steve Rogers never got. Because of this show, it added such a whole new dimension to the way I thought about this character and the way I'll remember it. I think Tom Hiddleston's Loki is the greatest character produced by the MCU. What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian. Loki, we haven't spoken. I, I think we get we tend to talk about the shows when they're all said and done because we really can't sort of tr attempt to keep up with each episode other than just sort of keep you guys informed uh, that we're watching at least, right? And where we're at with it and how we think it's going so far and where we think things may go, things of that nature, right? Uh, but finally, we have an opportunity to talk about the Loki series and certainly the finale, Brian. Uh, the way they wrap this up, I am satisfied with not going forward with anything having to do with Kang. The way they ended it, Brian, to me, and you said it in the last show, was a mic drop. Uh, what did you think of the entirety of the show? I think what they did to me, Brian, in, in, in particular, I think they did an excellent job in, in, in ending those episodes to get us looking forward to the next episode. And the way they ended it so epically, Brian, there's nothing needed left to be done other than what I had suggested prior to this show was that it would be dope. If Loki saw his brother once more to see that Shakespearean dialogue that could possibly come from it, Brian, with them seeing each other, having not certainly Thor not knowing what has become of, of Loki. Your thoughts on the show, on the series? Well, first off, congratulations to Tom Hiddleston and, and on down everyone associated with this show. I hope they're as proud of, of what they accomplished because I think the degree of difficulty was high. If you recall, I, ultimate egg on my face, least anticipated <laughs> Disney Plus show when they announced it. I thought Word. we had done what oh. we needed to do with the Loki character when he expired in, uh, in the Infinity Saga. I didn't see the need to explore other dimensions or other sides of this personality and i i have never been happier to be more wrong about something with what this show made me care about over 12 episodes let's put this in context these are the rare occasions brian where we are wrong about stuff brian we were like 100 completely on the other end of the spectrum type wrong when it came to the loki series and this is like, if I see him, all I have to do, I'm gonna do is just say bravo to, to Top Middleton. That's all I can say. And to the people involved with the mm -hmm. Loki series, uh, they did an, an amazing job in, in coming up with how to do this. And, and I, we talk about it, the attention to detail in this series, especially in this finale, which it really is, I mean, they haven't confirmed it, but it really, sounds and feels like a series finale not a season finale they brought so many things full circle with the writing and with the visuals i found myself just kind of over and over impressed with what they pulled off and you're right it's a very satisfying ending uh, for what really is a 15 year run i mean this is a longer run than iron man 1 to endgame like facts I mean, Hiddleston More. signed to play Thor in 2009. And here we are at the end of 2023. Uh, and I think we will see him again in like a, you know, call to the bullpen, small format. But the character arc of how he was brought into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that's complete. I mean, I think that's what he even yeah. said, I think, in his Tonight Show appearance. Like, this was the culmination of that. But it was emotional. It wrapped up the things that needed to wrap up and just the, the amount of parallels, the amount of things that even went back to the first Thor movie to to give you as like, a, hey, we didn't forget 
about this little thing in Thor one. And we, and we brought it all the way here. Can't believe it. I mean, top to bottom, I'm interested to have the discussion. I would probably still say season one, top to bottom was slightly better yeah, yeah, than yeah. season two. But when you consider everything Marvel's got going on and how good this series finale was, I mean, this, that's the thing. This show had two amazing finales and they couldn't really have been more different. Yeah. But two amazing. We talk about landing the plane. That's part of the reason I think we've stopped talking about every episode is we kind of learned our lesson that like you can't get too excited one or two episodes out from the end because Marvel has botched so many of these endings. And this yeah. show nailed both. Um, so, I mean, my rating will probably be slightly lower, but it's going to be incredibly high. And, and I think the best thing about I can say about this is Hiddleston went out like a boss. Like if this is the last time he but really is, is going to be... He called his own number and just absolutely showed out in this entire episode. But that is that is why, Brian, I, I you know, I can see your point about the first one being so probably rated on top of this one because of <clears throat> all the ideas and how well they introduced it and how well they progressed into what would become Kang. And it left the, left us with anticipation moving forward to the the multiverse saga, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said before, he 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 held the MCU up on his shoulders like Atlas, man. He's done it. He did it, glorious. He fulfilled everything that he's need, Loki needed to wanted to do in the MCU. That is coming full circle. Again, we still, I think we still need that, 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 that reunion with Thor. But the way they were able to pull that off, Brian, and do it, it made us forget about Kang. The TVA now is a TVA going out after Kang. Beautifully done, Brian. What more do you want? Let it be. Move on to what it is you want to do now that what we're expecting, hopefully, is something better. And we'll talk about that later. The symbolism of the throne, um, so beautifully captured from Thor 1 and then the twist. And it was a twist, right? The twist of what the throne would actually come to symbolize in the end and how Loki would sit on it and what function he would perform. <sighs> amazing. I mean, simply amazing. When I realized that's, that's a like, mural yeah. somewhere that they had found this throughput of like the entire character, which who had, who had talked about this literally in every appearance dating back to, to Thor one. And I, and I, it even struck me the line that they remembered when he's at the end of Thor one, he's hanging off the bridge and Odin's holding on to him. And he says, I could have done it father for you, for all of us. And at the end, his last line is what? I know what kind of God I need to be for you for all of us and it's like they brought it they, they tied it up in with the dialogue it's the little things like that that pay off like everything the character has gone through um from villain to now you know selfless hero which is what he is um and then the revelation of kind of the tree of time the tree of the universe the thing that thor kind of told you know jane about that kind of binds the realms together only now it's the script has kind of been flipped um, to be this sort of time tree, if you will. But uh, everything just well thought. Of. And you're right. And they were drawing on other films. You know, clearly the first half of this episode is like an edge of tomorrow. You know, that, that never fails, right? The time loop where you kind of quick cut again, again, again. Like, that's exactly what you see. And it works. We'll talk about that time. later. <laughs> it works. I mean, because it keeps the action moving. It gets, you get some humor in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but it but it, it 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 serves its purpose, and then you're right. That's sort of the slow walk, kind of the the un, the unkillable hero or soldier defying the odds to do something impossible at the end. And, um, and then my personal favorite, I will say, my favorite line. You can talk about favorite. My personal favorite single moment is when they bring back the season one finale, which I thought was a brilliant choice to basically mm -hmm. rewind a part of that. And he snaps his fingers and he says, "What makes you think this is the first time we've had?" this conversation that was my favorite yeah, moment yeah. I in, mean, the, in the episode but I, I can't say i have a favorite moment brian i would just i, I was still 
I was more impressed with how these episodes ended, uh, especially the fourth and fifth ones. Mm -hmm. How they were able to keep that anticipation up there. Oh yeah, his revelation of like it's not the when or the where, it's the who, and then he's like, yeah. I can rewrite the story. I mean, that's a great cliffhanger. It it was just a beautifully well done and executed uh, series, and I have to say, Brian, that Loki for me, when you think of the best of the MCU, for me, obviously, is always number one top. Nobody can do it better than the Winter Soldier, Captain America. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, we will revisit that next year, 10 year anniversary. But yes. Yes. We we got to do like a special. Yeah. A rewatch. Show, like, the, yes. why, what made it great. We'll do it. Yes. We'll do yes, it. Yes, yes. The balance of the episode was right. As I said, this is a Loki show. And Loki took, he took over the game in the fourth quarter. And that's the way it should be. But he had that point. He had those poignant moments with the most important characters, right? Mobius, Sylvie. Kang. If you're going to criticize the episode, they kind of left no room for Renslayer. They kind of were some of those characters didn't really have a chance to shine in the end. But he definitely took that time of like, you know, when he stands up and shakes hands with Owen Wilson, that's an emotional moment. Like after two seasons, I, I was feeling that goodbye. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think this show did a real nice job of finding that, that balance throughout the episode and really like the pacing felt just right, um, building to that sort of climactic climb to where he sits. And even that last look, I love that they get like, that lets you, it's perfect comic book, right? It lets you know he's alive. The God of yeah. stories is alive. So yes, he could reappear, but there's that sense of, it wasn't even joy. It was just kind of like, I'm cool. Like I accept this yeah, is his glorious my purpose. destiny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Loki season. Uh, it was is certainly up there with the best of the best of the MCU. Um, if you haven't seen it, and I'm pretty sure you have, based on what everyone has said about this series, this series um, is it, it, certainly uh, again. Uh, one of the best uh, pieces of content the MCU has put out in quite some time. So you're um, rating for the season. We both gave five stars, I think, to last season, if I recall. Which we was gave the five third. stars I each think we, if we, I think we gave five. No, no worse than four and a half. I think we gave five. For me, if I gave five last time, I will have to give a five this one again. Okay. A five for five. <laughs> I would go, yeah, see, like, I'd probably go four and a half for the season i would go five for the finale but i gotta ask this question before we sign off is tom hiddleston's loki the greatest single character in the mcu start to finish is this the best start character to ever to come out of this universe Ooh, Does he start to finish yeah. start to finish there's only one other person that's captain america to me start to finish i think it is i think this is the most interesting complete arc because of this show right which is the one thing steve rogers never got because of this show it added such a whole new dimension to the way i thought about this character and the way i'll remember it i think tom hiddleston's loki is the greatest character produced by the mcu yeah brian that is a good topic for debate let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of that. Um, I think for me, Cap is still number one because if anything would have happened to Cap in Endgame, Brian, if you would have been the one, you <laughs> would have had... This was the rumor. That was the leading yeah, rumor. Yeah, that was the rumor. That he was going to die. Yeah. I was waiting for that to happen so I could hear the sniffles from grown men. <laughs> it would have been one of those moments you remember forever. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of all this, um, the Loki series. Um, in what capacity would you like to see Loki come back for? Let us know in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!